Good morning, everybody. Welcome back for some more medium tier Japanese tank gameplay. This is a battle from 1 December 2017. I had the, uh, I had gained or benefited rather from the research reductions being put into place and therefore I had immediately gained the Type 61 and the uh, M42 Duster, but I had not done the first 10 for the Type 61 yet, so the Duster is in my lineup, but the Type 61 is not. And uh, Nicktoon there is one of my subscribers and Discord members, and uh, so I had machine gunned the crap out of him to try and get him to notice me, and then he didn't see me. Then while I was typing, I get crashed into by this other tank who knocked me sideways, and I finally had to just send the message because I was getting dragged along behind the uh, T-29 there. So, pretty funny, but uh, anyway, that's what happened there. <laughs> So this is a battle map. I moved back down towards the B point with my uh, Type 60 and I'm going to try and get into the middle of the park here in Cologne, Germany and see if I can use all the bushes and shrubs on top of my uh, tank to hide out inside the park and uh, hopefully get some self-propelled recoilless rifle ambushes on people. So as I slowly make my way through the town here to actually get to the park. Quick check to see who we're fighting. It's the Germans and the Russians as pretty much expected. Generally you'll see them together quite a lot. Got a target right directly in front of me here. That's a Panther II. Nice easy target to hit in the side of the turret. I got a nice critical on him. Didn't get a very good hit and then my second hit did almost nothing as well so backed off and uh, waited to reload now what I like to do with my type 60 as I've said in other videos is primarily just fire the main self-propelled recoilless rifle and save the backup rifle for emergencies but uh, if you don't kill the uh, gunner out of a tiger 2 he's probably gonna turn around and shoot you right back because of the reload with the Type 60, that's uh, with the secondary gun not reloading at the uh, ca at the capture zones. I try to save those five shots for when I don't have the opportunity to fire, reload, and fire my uh, primary gun a second time. Anyway, after I got knocked out in my Type 60, I came back in the Ho Re prototype to move back down and see what I could do about defending the B point from the enemy push. And there are definitely enemies getting very close to B, so trying to let the team know, hey guys, get to B, they're coming, and then the Tiger II who shot me gave me a beautiful front quarter shot, and I was able to take advantage and knock him out pretty quickly. And then I'll roll in behind that and recapture the B point. And then, for whatever reason, this Ferdy was just... I don't know if he didn't see me or if he just decided, well, I'm, it's too late, I'm just going to keep turning, but... Not one to complain about a gift target, but boy, I don't know what he was doing. And I got back into position to recapture the B point and line up down the road towards the A point, and then thought better of getting lined up there and uh, back behind a little bit of cover while I couldn't see any enemies. And my original... Panther 2 gets killed for an assist. And then I get strafed and take a little bit of damage with a track breaker and it was of course the Tiger 2 who had killed me in my Type 60 who I had then killed in my Ho Re prototype coming back for a revenge kill and he suicided and all he did was break my tracks. And then I get bombed again by another guy 
who thankfully dropped his bomb real long and at least didn't suicide this time. As my tracks get repaired, I'm heading down to the A point to see if I can finish off helping my team capture. But I'm going to take it through the park because I can't put shrubs and bushes on this thing, so I can't really hide the weak spots in the prototype. So at least I want to drive through whatever sort of camouflage I can because I'm getting strafed already. And I spotted what looked like a Panzer IV up ahead, so I'm moving up in a position where I can see him again, and there he is again, off to the left. Get my aiming on him. It's actually a Panzer III J1, which, all right, works for me since it was on the other team. An easy knockout. And then just off to my right, a Leopard 1 has just taken out Nicktoon in his T-17. And thankfully I bounced his shot, but I don't know why he never moved again. I'm not sure if Nicktoon had tracked him or what, but he never moved and gave me a delightful side shot into his crew compartment, which the Hovery prototype is going to have no trouble dealing with. So slowly picking my way through the park and trying to make my way in back up to the B point here. Or the A point, rather, sorry. I always love in chat when people ask if it's really me. It cracks me up. I mean, let's let's say for instance, let's say that it's not me and I say yes it's me. Are you going to believe me or not? Let's say that it is me and I say that yes it's me. Are you going to believe me or not? It just makes me laugh. It doesn't matter what I say. You're either going to believe me or you're not, and I could be real or fake if I whatever. Anyhow, If it's a capital O and all the rest of the characters are lowercase and no spaces, then it's me. That's how it goes. If it's a PS4 player, it's not me. If it's capital anything else, it's not me. Anyway, Panther 2 target driving there off in the background. So I line up, wait for him to cross over. He doesn't come forward, so I line up and wait for him to adjust his path back over to my left. Lose him behind the buildings, and now I'm just waiting for him to show up. I can see guys getting marked down the road from me. Right as I start to move, I take a hit in the side. That takes out my breach and my driver. Or my breach and all my gunner turret crew, rather. I'm trying to reload and repair in time to get the Panther 2 coming. I get a warning from Nick Toon about uh, enemies down the road, and it was a little too late, but I appreciate the warning anyway. So that was that for the Hovery prototype. Not too bad of a run with it, though. I decided to come back in the duster because it didn't have any research done on it and because there were a few enemy aircraft up and I was trying to give our friendly air a little bit of cover. Mostly because I needed to get research done in it. So we've got a decent little group of uh, friendly tanks all moving together here as we push back down the middle of the map back in towards their A point. Hopefully watching out for them to get to the B point and start taking it, but we've got a pretty good force here to quickly react to that if we need to. As my M42 bounces all over the place and crashes into a wrecked building. So I know for sure there was a Panther 2 and a Tiger 1 Diesel 16 there. And then Nicktoon says there's a Quillian and a Panther at A. So between us, it seems like that should be the three tanks that we know were there. And the Quillian should be the missing one that I didn't see that had been marked as SPAA right before I got killed in my Hovery prototype. So I'm looking for the Quillian, which I know is the most likely thing I can actually damage with my stock ammo in my M42 and there he is he's highlighted himself I'm trying to get myself over into position to get a shot at him and just as my guns stop and stabilize and I pull the trigger he gets killed right as I hit him or I guess right before I hit him <sighs> it's always the way it goes 
But alright, I'll move in and take part in the capture instead. And try to keep my eye out for the other enemies that we've already seen. Which are not in sight at the moment. So there's a Panther 2 missing somewhere and a Tiger 2 Diesel missing somewhere. And I am not sure where they are. The Panther gets marked back behind us. He's coming out of the opening up there, halfway up the road. And apparently there was also a T-44-100 back there that I never did see. Our Carnarvon's been hit and set on fire, and I'm not sure where that exactly came from. And then I see the shot from a Tiger 2H that killed him, and back myself off right as I take a hit that knocks out my commander, which seemed to come from behind me. But as I look back behind me, I don't see anyone, so now I'm not really sure where I'd taken that hit from. I was pretty sure during the battle that it had come from behind, and it did, but I couldn't tell for 100% certainty. So I'm waiting for the guys who shot me from down the road, what I thought, come out in the open. And then I take a hit from all the way back at the B point, which was the guy who had hit me in the first place. He'd shot, he'd back behind cover, and he pulled out again and finished me. He'd started a decap on the B point, and then he'd taken off forward back down into cover to wait for us to react to it. So I'm trying to let the team know, hey guys, you need to pay attention to B. Like, we gotta, we gotta do something here. They're at B in a Tiger 2. So, back in the M4A3 Sherman we go. Try to get to the B point and deal with a Tiger 2H. can see a little bit of an air battle going on now, finally, of course, after I'm killed out in my SPAA. Now I finally see enemy airplanes flying over. Keep it up and, victory will be ours. and the Comet deals with the Panzer Befelswagen. And uh, that takes care of the guy who was capturing out the B point. And you can see the Tiger 2H coming back up, but I had smoke shells loaded and I made sure that I covered them up as, unfortunately, he took out our Comet as I got the smoke shells just into position just a little bit too late. Switched back to regular ammo to be ready to fire back at the Tiger 2H once my smoke cleared out. And got back into the capture. You can see a second heavy all the way down the road right near the A point. And as I'm about to capture, I moved up to try and get ready to fire shots at the Tiger. That I expect is coming up. I shot at a shape in the darkness that was not the Tiger. It turned out to be a wrecked tank in front of me. But for whatever reason, the Tiger was just holding holding tight and camping on the uh, point, I guess waiting for me to move out in the open where he could shoot me. Instead of just driving in straight head on where I would have had to shoot at his frontal armor and not have a lot of luck with him. And then some help arrived and he decided to back off, which gave me a shot into his side, which of course didn't penetrate, but that gave me enough time to capture. And then I moved the heck out of the way so that that Tiger 2H didn't have me as an easy, tasty, juicy target anymore and moved off to the side to pull behind the rubble here and set up an ambush for him to come back and hopefully get a side shot on him. And the reason he backed off is because what came up to help me was a Conway with a big ol' 120. That was a reassuring sight to see. So I got back into position, made sure I marked the Tiger 2 to let the rest of our team coming from our spawn know where he was and hope that uh, we could hold here. Now, I don't like camping a lot in most games. There are certainly times and places where it is relevant and the most prudent thing to do. This is definitely one of those times. I'm not going to make it around a corner and take out a Tiger 2H with any probability of success. So what I'm going to do is sit back here, hold off, wait for the guy to make a move on our Conway, hope that the Conway can sit behind cover, and shoot the guy when he comes up here from the side, and then hope that our error can come in and give us air support, as we definitely have air superiority right now. 
and I'll just continue to mark the guy and sit here and wait for him to move up. We've got a bit of a numbers advantage, although it's not a severe advantage. On the ground, we may have a numbers disadvantage, as far as I can tell. We now have a Super Pershing who made it up and joined us, and out of nowhere, a Yag Panther comes driving up, which gives me a beautiful side shot, and my camping out paid off here. You can hear the Tiger II's engine revving up and revving down off to the left. My artillery finishes up, and I fire it on him, and then with the Super Pershing and the Conway moving up, I decide to move up with them, because at least if I get killed here, the odds are good that one of these two will take advantage of the Tiger II shooting and move up and kill him, and we'll have a clearer... or a clearer, if not clear, path down to their capture point. And then the... Super Pershing ends up taking out the Tiger II, and now we know the path is clear because when I check the team, team list coming up, there's only one enemy left. So it's probably going to be the other t heavy that had been marked down by the A point, but at least we can move down there and keep him occupied down near his capture. It turns out he's over inside the park, and if you notice the chat down there to the side, I'll take that as a challenge. I was going into capture, which is why I've got smoke shells loaded as my uh, secondary reload. But if my goodness gets challenged and there's a Tiger II to the side of me by Cracky, I'm going to go deal with him. I get a nice shot on him, nice stabilized gun, put it into the side. Did not notice that I still had smoke rounds loaded for the second. I mean, I totally had the second shot lined up as smoke to uh, fire it at him and keep him from being able to return fire at my teammates. That's why I had the smoke round for the second shot there. And I knew he wasn't going to go anywhere because he'd been hit by teammates, so that's why I... Okay, anyway. After I hit him with the smoke round, I reloaded with my APC BC shells and then turned around and uh, got him with the third shot into him. Now you can see another enemy has respawned in another Tiger 2H. And he's down here occupied with an M42 Duster. So I'm going to try to move in in position and give the Duster some help and hopefully give time for our Conway and Super Pershing to make it down here and ultimately kill the guy if I can't do it myself. Thought for sure he had to see me here, but I think he was more concerned with the Duster. Tried to break his track so that the Duster and I could get around behind him. Unfortunately, that was not successful. And uh, right as he turned his turret away, tried to get a shot and knock out some of his turret crew, had just the wrong angle. Our team makes it into A, the Tiger starts backing away to try to ambush our guys and move on the Duster, which gave me a chance to scoot forward and relocate and hopefully catch him unawares from the side. And that is exactly what happened. He moved forward either to get away from the Duster or get up to our guys at A and gave me a nice front quarter shot again into his uh, crew compartment and I was able to take him out with the old Sherman. So a pair of, pair of Tiger 2H kills with my lowly little Sherman M4A3. And I thought maybe that uh, made up for my showing up to that point. So there you go. Was seven kills enough? Kawaii Desu-chan. And with the final blow, that's it. We win. And then I almost get team annihilated there. But thankfully, it didn't kill me. So I ended up with a pretty decent score. I had a 150% RP booster turned on, along with a 10 or 15% line booster. Nothing really big with the line booster, but the uh, RP booster, as you can see, paid out pretty well. 9,291 research towards the whole reproduction. So I uh, ended up being a pretty good battle, all in all. Seven kills, an assist, a couple of captures, a whole bunch of awards, and uh, a victory. Most important thing there was the win. And that'll do it. See you guys soon for more War Thunder. Take care, have a great day, and we'll see you next time.